Right, and you know you've got too much vitamin C because you're going to get loose stool. So it's kind of a self-limiting yeah, cycle self for you. Yeah. So somebody who is healthy, maybe they would max out it at five grams a day, say, or somewhere around there. Uh, when they, If they actually have the flu, it's entirely possible that over the course of the day they could take 20 grams and, and not have hard. any issue. Yeah. Right. Yeah, and then again, just rest and water. Uh, those are the other two. Don't push through. I, you know, we see too, so many people that try to, you know, push through their illness, and then, you know, what we're doing is we're exposing everyone else around us to whatever virus we have. Um, so I encourage people, you know, do take. A, if you're not feeling well, don't don't go into work. Uh, right. Your coworkers will love you for that. Don't of not bringing it to them. You know, I used to be a preschool teacher, and I would tell the kids, you know, I, I really love you guys a lot, but don't give me your germs, mm -hmm. right? I don't want your germs as they, you know, all oh, over yeah. themselves, touching yeah. everything. Um, so uh, that is yeah. basically our our cold and flu and what, season. You know, the height. one uh, final note that I would put on there is is at old doc you know been in practice for a lot of years i remember once told me that the, a cold isn't the disease it's the cure right and the point that he was making was that whenever we get the cold or the flu even our body is uh, is trying to accomplish something it's trying to clean itself out when you think what happens when you get these things the fluids run and yeah. and you know there's just a lot of you know maybe even throwing up or diarrhea or just just your body is cleaning, cleaning, cleaning. Temperature goes up so that the metabolic rate goes up. And it's really a, a cleaning out process. And there are two paths you can go by. You can, you can interfere with that process so that you don't have to experience those symptoms. Right. Or you can facilitate that process to help it resolve faster. And if we do the things that, that facilitate it happening, it makes it less likely that we get it again in the future. Um, which is the opposite of suppressing it, which makes it more likely that we will yeah. experience that in the future. It's a great point. I mean, I think we've been taught that the symptoms are the issue, and that is really incorrect thinking. And what we're seeing, I mean, even over the last 10 years of treating people, we, we are seeing a sicker and sicker population out there. People are on more medications. Um, they're not able to handle small viruses, uh, bacterial infections, as they were 10 years ago. Um, working with kids, you know, we've got a family practice here. W working with kids, you see them, they spike a major fever, 104 degrees. And then the next day, they're out playing. They're done okay, with their illness. Yeah. I see adults, they can't get a fever past 99 degrees. That is not healthy. That right. is a suppressed individual over four or five decades. They have not gone through any healing or any healing right. response to an illness they have suppressed because that's what we're taught right. and we can definitely sell more things over the counter if you take you know suppress your fever it doesn't feel good and i'm not saying that these things feel good but right. what i what we're saying and what we what we promote in our practice is by going through that with support of course i'm not saying just suffer needlessly but your, your system and body actually is in a higher state of being after that. Uh, spiking of a fine fever is a great way to clean the blood out. Uh, you know, I've seen people pass a lot of parasites, uh, other things after getting a very high fever. They would have never done that had they not been able to spike the fever. So yeah. it is, it really is, the, the symptoms are the cure. Yeah. So, thank you for tuning in. Yeah. Uh, we'll encourage you to connect up on a, uh, with us on our social media. We're on Twitter. We're on Facebook. You can send your questions in to questions uh -huh. at naturecuresclinic.com. You have uh, program ideas that, you know, just anything you'd like to hear us talk through, of course, you can send those ideas as well. Thanks for watching and listening. <laughs>